Mike Emmerich here. Eddie Olchek alongside Ray Ferraro down at ice level. Tonight we have a thrilling evening of hockey ahead. Good action coming your way tonight. It is a Western Conference matchup. Game about to start, but first, Eddie Olchek. The Western Conference sometimes gets overlooked when it comes to the offensive part of the game. The D and goaltending are so tight that it's hard to score goals. That said, this conference has some explosive talent, and you give them time and space, they will score. Driving in from no man's land. Save! Oh, that was something. Laid on the cleft bomb. Big drive! He scores! Nice beginning if you're the home squad. Up 1-0. The Oilers now have a one-goal lead in the first period. Perhaps they can build on this and carry something sizable to the dressing room. Edmonton goal, scored by number 77. Directing that one to Yossi. By number 97. By number 40. Has it picked up. Time of the goal. Two minutes, 30 seconds. Carries it on in from center. A rocket. A textbook stick save. And holds on to that puck to get the whistle. Just a bit over four minutes play. Only one goal hanging on the board so far. So it's 1-0. Critical face-off win there. Say, Brownlands tripped up. That should be a penalty. Smith's tripped and a penalty should be coming. Nashville's take breakaway. And now the whistle signals stoppage of play and will get the penalty. Edmonton's only going to get two minutes on this call, but it was tripping. The Predators get a huge opportunity here. It's a two-man advantage, and it's a long one. Let's see how they do. One of the biggest mistakes a five-on-three power play makes is they're looking for the perfect shot. The more you shoot it, the more you move the penalty killers around, and you start to tire them out. Gathered up again by Malone. He cut that one off in the defensive end. Pitching it to Yossi. Buck is thrown to Arvidsson. In with it now. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. And a save. Edmonton's cleared. A lot of work, but penalty time less and less now. Yossi's got it on his stick, trying to clear. Enormous hit. He's crushed. Oh, you got to love that early hit, Doc. You get to the rink, you want to set a tone for your team if you can, and an early hit is one way to do it. The Oilers did a good job on that penalty kill, so it's even. Pitching this one to Russell. Gains the zone. Let's it go. That pop hit him on the way to the net. A great wrist shot. Turned away with the stick. Edmonton's got another win. Puck loose because of that hit. The Predators are looking to make a play out of their own zone. On to Subban. Got a piece of that one. Leads that charge into the zone. Subban's tripped up. That should be a penalty. Moving it to Gronlund. Great chance here, two on one. Outstanding save. Difficult opportunity. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. The Oilers are boxed on a tripping minor. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. The Predators' power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. Well, you're not going to get an endless supply of power plays, but they get another one here. See if they can punch through. Can he clear the zone? A successful clear. Read that play in his own end. A big collision in the middle of the ice. If you can catch somebody with an open ice hit, you know that you're giving them a real jolt. Takes that pass up the boards. Got his pad on that one. Bombs away. Kicked away. Trying to go to Simmons. Now it's directed to Ellis. That is up close and personal. Rister from the slot. A great block of that shot. To Nurse. 
Nashville's power play fails this time, and so they are still down by one. A hit that can make you mad. Collected by Simmons. The Predators with possession in the defensive zone. Steps in from the neutral zone. Placed into the corner by Johansson. Terrific determination by Nugent Hopkins. And in flight over the line. Has that one measured in his own end. That's a really dangerous area with the puck, and he turned it over. Now the opponent has a short ice to attack. That puck has to go forward into a safe area 100% of the time. The Oilers lose a man for two minutes. Boarding is the call. Yeah, as you can see here, Doc, no chance for the attacking player to protect themselves. That's why it's a two-minute penalty. Well, the power plays had some good opportunities so far here tonight. They have to stay with their game plan. I sure agree, Eddie. The Oilers with a face-off win. Edmonton's gotten it back out. They check the clock, get ready to defend. Fantastic poke check. Terrific shot block. What a tremendous hit. Yossi's not going to be too happy with that. He didn't have his head up, wasn't aware of everybody around him, and then he got steamrolled. Not sure who made the hit, but that is a big one. Propelled to Arvidsson. Pass attempt to Clefbaum. He cleared that puck out of there. Nearing the 20th minute of this period. Passing one off now to Yossi. Slid to Boyle. A whistle. Offside is called. Got the draw. Nashville's power play unit let them down this time. It was a chance to tie the game. That puck is loose. No luck getting through that time. Arvidsson's feeling all of that solid hit. He's just going to slowly glide to the bench. Snaps one in there. A gong shot there. Right in the mask. Next one should be right along the ice. Arvidsson's injury is a result of this huge hit. Predators with a clean win on the draw. First period has been completed. And so, intermission activities are forthcoming, but the players get a breather. The Oilers leave the ice with a 1-0 lead. And the second period has gotten started. Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro, and I'm Mike Emmer. Looking to Yossi. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Tremendous hit. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. Brings a shot. That's a marvelous save. That was a tougher stop than a look. And he steps in with a shot. Save there. There was a time it was hard to do, but not so much anymore. Putting the net back on, it's come off. The Oilers with a win at center. Fires, blocked. He scores off the crossbar. your goaltender to stop so many pucks. He scored on the rebound. Rene's not able to make this stop. He's in good shape to make that save, but the puck is perfectly delivered. It hits the bottom of the crossbar and goes in. The Oilers have now enlarged their lead to two to nothing. At the rate they're going in this game, they might make it three fast. Nashville's got that neutral zone faceoff. Chip to Arvidsson. Fires use that big goalie stick well. Time of the goal. Clears the zone. He outskated him to beat the icing call. 
Great save. Great save, point blank. That great save was all positioning. Nugent Hopkins is sent to the box for tripping. Now oh, this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck, but he tripped up the attacking player. There is hope with every man advantage, even if your percentage is poor. Are you listening? After an ineffective power play earlier in the game, let's see if they can get a little more organized, get the puck into the zone and get it on net far more frequently. Cut that pass in his own end. Quick wrist shot. Oh, he got that. Under five minutes off the clock here in the second. Two goals have been scored, both by one team. The Oilers carrying on in the defensive zone. From his own end on the power play, it's taken by P.K. Subban. Towards the slot. Oh, great save there. Not much room to work, but he got a good shot away. His perfect positioning allowed him to shut down that chance. Clearly an interference call, not allowing the player to get involved into the play. A five-on-three power play. It may seem like a sure goal, but sure things are never sure in hockey. You're right, Doc, this is a big advantage here. A five on three on the power play. It's one you have to capitalize on. Oh, man, that'll bring a penalty. And now we'll get the penalty call. The Oilers get a minor penalty for charging. The Predators are presented with a great opportunity here. It's a long five on three. This five on three power play has to be careful that they don't get lulled into a sense of security here. And by himself. Much ice to cover, the puck taken. Wow, look at him, he's got a long way to go. Does he have enough gas? Terrific save there. Didn't look like he had anything to shoot at, and he made it tough. Wow, uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. The Oilers have it in the defensive zone. Malone's got to shovel it out of there. That puck is cleared, and fresh guys can get back out there. Oh, looking for a penalty call on that one. Edmonton's minor is for charging. It is a five on three for a brief time, but still a two-man advantage, and the face-off will start it off. Oh, man, he's got to learn to stay out of the penalty box. You're not going to be in the league long if you continue to take penalties. Skill play by Forsberg. Shoots one. Wonderful stop. Shoots. Save. Cleared back out again, and so the power play unit has to drop back. Shot on, and a save. To the point it comes. Whistle is blown, and a man with guilt all over his face is going to the box. The Predators are going to the box for two minutes, and the call is tripping. I'm going to give credit to the puck carrier here. He kept his legs moving. He forced the back checker to reach in and take him off his feet. So now, with the penalty box a uh, little occupied, this is going to be four on four. It doesn't even take much of a mistake, Doc, to get a scoring chance on a four on four. If one guy gets beat by a half a strong breakaway. What a big breakaway stop. Edmonton's winging it at neutral ice. Can start the attack going in the zone. That's a good save and goal. They're going to have to come up with something better than that. Good job on the draw. Watch out! A big hit! Edmonton's got an enormous lead, and it's in the second period. Hopefully, they don't go daydreaming now. And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. Oh, what a hit that one was! Snapping a pass to chase on. He's in on an onside play. A solo rush! He scores! Four in a row.
In the draw, what's next? Directing that one to Torres. Goes back deep for it. Lifted back out so they can hustle to the bench and get fresh troops out there. Pitching it to Gromlin. And he's hit again and hard. He's got a target on his back. Picked up in the attacking zone. Shot, wonderful work in close and a brilliant save. Looked like the net was open for a second, but he shut it down. Puck is thrown to Cassian. Pitching this one to McDavid. Oh, snaps the shot. in a position to score on the forehand. Well, sometimes you just have to say that's a great move, both once on the forward, once on the goaltender. Edmonton's got an enormous lead, and it's in the second period. Hopefully, they don't go daydreaming now. And they've won the faceoff. Scored by number 97. Played on to Boyer. By number 44. Fires. Great close grab. The goalie's far and away been the best player in this hockey game. He has faced an inordinate amount of shots in this contest, stopped just about everything, and as a result, he's got to be the first star as his team is leading this game. Oh, broke it up. Score! He's got his second of the game. Edmonton's getting a larger and larger lead as the second period gets shorter and shorter. And a full third period and a chance to enlarge. Terrific determination by Boyle. And Nashville setting up an offense from the wing. All right, it's brought ahead and dumped back into the offensive zone. They can get the forwards off. Cleared down the ice from the defensive side of the center red line. And let's check our rule books. Yes, it's icing. Won that face off. Now what? Great shooting lane. Did what he's made to do. Good offensive zone win. He's got that point pass. The big pillows came in handy. Moving it to Reader. Good place to shoot from, and he does. Say. And the referee's whistle has stopped play. Edmonton's quick on the draw. Right off the left wing, it comes on through right on his stick. And the whistle, and the trainer. Hopefully not a gurney on this one. Forsberg's injury was apparent as soon as you saw this hit. Huge collision, bone-rattling check. Two periods have been played. They've worked pretty hard at it, and they get a well-deserved rest. Third period coming up shortly. Third period about to begin. What did you think of the second? Nashville's playmaking has suffered because of the amount of times they've turned over the puck. They'll need better communication and tighter passing here in the third. The third period has begun, and it will be a chance for one team to build up an impressive score and the other to maybe get back in this game. Let's see. Crosses that line. He was standing in the lane and got some of it. Smart recovery by Ellis. That one came back over the blue line. Everybody has to get back, and the coach wishes he had skates on right now. Passes into, oh, he's got this one, but can they catch up to him? Right in that catching glove, good work. Mm -hmm. 
Edmonton's got that win. Brister waffle boarded. And ring more bells on that. He scores! Second of the game. What a performance. Edmonton's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate. Couldn't get his way through. On to chase on. Let's it go. That puck hit him on the way to the net. Long saucer to Bonino. Great save in close. Gains that offensive line. Chase on's tripped and a penalty should be coming. The Predators suffer a tripping call. Anything you do once, you can do twice. Let's see if that applies to this particular power play. So much of a power play is confidence. When you have a little success, you feel like you can do it again. That's what they should feel after they've already pocketed one power play goal. A collision. Oh, big hit, Doc. I can hear it right from where I'm standing. He looked like he wanted to go right through him. A one-timer. Blockered away. The Predators in their own end, ready in attack. Gathered up by Ellis. The power play unit has to recoil and try yet again. In the slot. What a reaction save. He's locked in now. Great save. Trying to go to Boyle. Outstanding body contact. The Predators tap us back at full strength because the penalty has been killed. A little under eight minutes of sweat and anger here in the third. Do you think the ice is tilted? Wow. This scoreboard may not hold all those numbers. Is able to move on in. In all alone. He hangs on and gets the whistle. The Oilers win it. Great save. Puck covered. Whistle blown. Nashville's prevailed on another faceoff. And that pass was just off. And so everybody has to go back. And now it's directed to Chase On. Steps across that line. At the front of the net. Got in the way of that one. Pass attempt at Gronlund. Propelled to Subban. A heartening collision. You thought they were gone. They're not. And finally, the whistle blows, and they can tend to it. Gronlund's injury occurs on this play. You can hear the collision from where I'm standing. It's a face-off win. May not seem important in that territory, but they have possession. Eckholm's tripped up. That should be a penalty. The Oilers get a two-minute penalty for tripping. The Predators get another power play opportunity. They have not been good on this power play, at least so far. Let's see if it changes. They didn't take advantage on the power play earlier in the game. Let's see if they can jump on the board here. The Oilers, through the neutral zone, ready the next attack. One timer. That is a shot that went way wide. This was a heavy shot, but it had no chance of going in because it missed the net. And a save. Edmonton's got that face-off win. Flings it. Save there. Passing one off now to Johansson. The Predators aren't going to like this game any better when they watch it on video as well. This is a bad movie that they're going to get to see again as the coaches break down the tape. Wow, they caught him again. What a punishing night for him. The Oilers have been penalized a lot. But so far, they've been perfect in killing them off. Sacrificial play by Larson. Edmonton's controlling the play in the neutral zone. Takes a shot. Oh, what a pad save. And decides to just cover it up and get the whistle. 
Gremlins a little wobbly as he's headed straight back to the dressing room with the trainer. They're going to be very careful. This looks like a head injury. He wore that pump on a hard shot. To Cassian. Looking to McDavid. Onside. Slid to Cassian. Great stick save. Nice work by Cassian. Oh, what a shot. It glanced off the iron. Skilled play by Boyle. Snapping a pass to Smith. A shot. Got his pad on that one. Edmonton's got a defensive zone win. Gathered up again by McLeod. Let's a shot go. He scores! Subban! Face-off win, and now what will they do with it? Number 76, he gives it to the point. By number Shoots one. That's a great save. I was watching for sticks to go up. No celebration this time. Good, solid defense there. Shoots one. Great save. Oh, pocket picked. Looks ahead to start something. And the call is icing. A legitimate call here late in the game. Face-off win here. From the slaughter wrister. Save! And yet another save. How does he do that? Amazing reaction. Airborne to Nurse. Directing that one to McLeod. Stole that pass. A slot wrister. <laughs> a whistle and a rest. The Oilers get the draw. Flings it. The buzzer sounds. The Predators lose big. Boy, not a good effort at all, especially in that third period. So that is it for this one. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. For Eddie and Ray, Doc saying good night all.